Hi, we are here in Philadelphia at the Better Bike Share Conference. This conference is bringing together practitioners from bike share around the country, uh, planners, advocates, companies, all sitting down and sitting to talk through how we make bike share more successful and more equitable. So as you might expect, the questions around bike share and equity are complicated and there are a lot of things that go into it. Thinking about system scale and station density, how convenient it is. Thinking about how you make safe places for people to ride. Thinking about engagement and outreach and what that takes to make it really meaningful for communities. Thinking about transit and the connections into the larger economy. Thinking about jobs, who gets them and what type of jobs they are. And thinking about pricing, how accessible the system is in the first place. I'm really excited that in the bike advocacy world we're starting to talk more about equity. I think it's a hard conversation and I think we're finally getting to the point where we're getting beyond this like let's just check the box and say we talked about it but actually digging in what does equity mean, what is the definition and how does it play out not only in the things we do like our bike share system but what we do internally, who we hire, how we hire, how we do our communications, our media. I'm proud of the work that we've done because we've been able to learn from other cities and really create a program that is inclusive. It's about us taking our responsibility as public servants and really making sure that we're connecting people to resources and tools that they can benefit from. This is probably one of the most diverse conferences that I've had an opportunity to attend around the topic of biking. I think part of that is testament to the leadership of the Better Bike Share Partnership to ensure you have diverse voices. And when the question comes up, it's frequently framed in the sense of who rides a bike, who doesn't ride a bike, are there certain neighborhoods where no one's using Hubway? Um, but if you really look at the data with the understanding of how bike share works, it's more about what have we done to make it so that certain stations won't get used. Is the station density correct? If it's not correct, we know the station won't get used. When you're planning a bike share station, you want to make the system accessible. Research has shown that if a station is within a five minute walk from where you live or from where you work, you're more likely to use it. So New York City uses the 28 station per square mile planning principle. We're gonna be hiring bike ambassadors and we're gonna be going out a street team on the ground, talking to people, making sure it's culturally appropriate, linguistically appropriate, and really reaching people where they are because we don't want a situation where folks look up and they're like, what is this? Why is this here? We are working to create a system that is for everyone, all walks of life, no matter age, race, gender, that we are working, whether it's your operations team, your customer service team, your marketing team, and we are figuring out a way to ensure that your system is inclusive for all and that it is something that everyone feels they are a part of. We want to make sure that if anyone goes to our online sites that they see all types of folks that look like them. And so we take that information and it's at the forefront of every decision that we make as it regards to when we need models for anything, when we are doing TV ads, radio ads, we think about the language, we think about the photos, we think about the messages. In a community like Bedford-Stuyvesant, it's, you know, in many parts of the community there's a, it's a transportation desert. You know, people have to take, you know, two subways when they really could take a bike. So you've saved um, you know, time, money, and you've connected a community to a whole range of services and job opportunities that they otherwise would not have been connected to. Networking, definitely networking, getting to meet so many people. I mean, it's crazy. Between from now and six months ago, how much many people I've met and many different opportunities I got to learn about. It's just awesome. Those folks are now able to go into their neighborhoods and people say, well, what's that shirt or why are you riding that bike? And it's like, I work for Indigo. And it changes the perception that that's just for certain people because they see it's literally connecting people to jobs. And I also think integrating it with our transportation system. So because Metro or MTA is running the program, you're gonna be able to use your same car to get on the bus, to get on the train that you're using um, for bike share. And I think that's, that's huge. So we have been working with public health entities, with social, social service providers and nonprofits to get low-cost bike share memberships in the hands of individuals who could stand to benefit the most because we know that bike share is one of the fastest 
healthiest, most affordable, and most fun ways to get around. Here in Philly, we're really proud about the fact that we're the first city that has a fully scalable cash option for bike share membership. We allow people to pay in cash at Family Dollar, 7-Eleven, or Ace Cash Express. After we've seen the success of that program, we implemented a new program called the Access Pass that allows people with an EBT card, which here in Pennsylvania is called the Access Card, to sign up for a discount pass that instead of $15 a month is just $5 a month. And we've seen a really good return on that with more than 300 people signing up in the first two months. In a community that has been historically marginalized and has been disinvested in, equity will take time. So what we're trying to do is really uplift a culture that values biking and really you know, showcases that you know, people of color do bike. We have noticed groups of people in the community you know, biking more and more. I've noticed my, my staff, people who are attending our, um, our job training programs, people who are working for major employers, you know, using the bike share system in new ways.